we have here the sweet little 1973 Porsche 914. And you may have seen this car here in previous videos where it's been sitting on the lift or something. The customer brought it to us for uh, some miscellaneous stuff. Uh, he had put some brakes on it and he wanted us to bleed it. He wanted some fuel lines replaced, including the plastic fuel lines in the engine compartment. And he wanted the rubber fuel hoses replaced. Uh, he's kind of doing a fuel refresh. He has had the tank out and had it to a service that lines it with one of his chemical liners. And he's just having us finish up the work. But part of what we're doing is installing a fuel pump for him. And the fuel pump that he provided from some service that rebuilds it, it was no good. It was not working. And then we sent that one back and they sent us another one. And that one was no good and did not work. But finally, we've received the third one and it works. So after installing this working fuel pump in the car, we started it and it ran for a whole 30 seconds. Then the engine died. And that's where we're at right now. I have tinkered with it some after that, but let me show you what we're, what's going on with it. Okay, I have a start button hooked to this and I have the key on and I'm operating the throttle with my hand on the throttle itself. See there, it kind of wants to start, but it doesn't. It won't run. As you can see here on the gauge, we do have fuel pressure. Right now, it's showing 20. I would expect 30 out of that. It does have 30 while we're cranking. Crank that up. I don't quite understand why it drops down to 20 after cranking, but it does have 30 during cranking. So <clears throat> now, obviously, this is a 47-year-old car. And it's entirely possible it might have another problem besides receiving bad fuel pumps. So I, I've already done this, but I thought I'd show you for the camera that I have checked that it is getting spark. I don't know how good this is going to show up. Maybe I'll turn this light off and you can see it. Pretty sure you could see that it's getting spark and I did try that at the number one spark plug all this the spark plug here also just to make sure okay I have hooked up the Pico scope to an injector and I'm checking power ground and ant draw so on our blue trace that's the ground of the injector the red trace is the power coming to the injector now these injectors uh, they all share a common ground with other things also um, so I can't really hook on the ground and do a parade or anything. The injectors are all grounded and the computer provides them with power. This third trace is the amp waveform. So I don't have a known good scope pattern for amperage or for voltage on these. Let me drag a cursor down here. So right about there, 7.3 volts at the very tip of it 8.8 .8 volts and the main body of that pattern across that flat top there is about 2.6 volts and then but anyway what we see is the computer command it and then it hold right at that so I'd assume that's a peak and hold injector I would assume that's uh, an inductive spike going uh, into the negative there and the amp waveform looks pretty much normal on what I would expect. I guess we can draw down a cursor there and see how many amps that's drawing. Nine point six milliamps. So basically one amp. And I want to zoom in. I want to zoom into the amp pattern to show you what I'm seeing here. Uh, 
uh, as you can see the amp ramps upwards and then there's that deviation there that deviation usually means the pentel is moved so this seems to be a working injector so we have fuel pressure we have spark we seem to have a working fuel injector so why won't it run it's kind of a mystery to me I kind of been standing around scratching my head not knowing what to do with it now remember this thing would run with starting fluid so guess when we figure out something we'll take some more video oh another slight interesting side note here you can see there's some interference on all three of these traces and it they all line up right there 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 yeah there ain't really nothing right there but right there but very easily you can tell one two three four one that's the spark happening the spark plug wire is very near the injector and so I can't get that out of there I tried but uh, it's just simply showing us that we have spark maybe that's a nice side effect and not a drawback okay so we have pulled the injector out left the fuel line connected to it and the plug-in plugged in and so we are going to crank the engine to see if this is shooting fuel or not Go ahead. Okay. Obviously, fuel pump is now working. Computer is firing the injector. Fuel pressure is making it to the injector. Injector is working. Now, ever since this car has been here, this car has started and ran on starting fluid, and I. Uh, what we've noticed now is that after we have a working fuel pump in it, it won't run on starting fluid anymore. I'll demonstrate for you. So, now we've been, we've done this quite a bit since the car's been here because we're trying to figure out why the car won't run when it had a bad fuel pump on it and it would we, it would run with starting fluid and then we got another bad fuel pump and once again wouldn't run so but it would run on starting fluid so it's rather strange to notice now that it won't run on starting fluid okay where we're at on this Porsche uh, we had no start even though we had fuel pressure and we had spark I understand we'd ran the car plenty on starting fluid so we weren't worried about compression or timing or any of those things Obviously, something could have broke in the meantime, but I know these are timing, these engines have a timing gear, not a timing chain or a timing belt, so it's very unlikely that it's going to come out of time. Okay, we're left with, we have fuel pressure, we have spark, uh, scope checked the injectors, but I did, I only showed one, but I scope checked all of them, and they all had a the very similar pattern. Now, I don't know that that's the right pattern. I don't know the injector pulse width is correct, and uh, I really have no... Uh, I did some minor research uh, trying to find a known good scope pattern, but this is a 47-year-old car. Nobody hooks a scope to a 47-year-old car, except me. Um, so as I think about it, I only checked spark at the spark plug wires. I never checked, I never pulled the plugs out and checked that it was actually getting spark at the spark plug. Nor did I put a scope on secondary ignition in order to verify that the spark was actually good. So, At that point I decided that maybe it was running rich and the spark plugs had fouled. Um, and so we actually pulled the plugs out and they were covered with carbon. I mean just covered with carbon. I uh, probably hadn't been replaced in 47 years or maybe 20 years, who knows. We tried cleaning them with a wire wheel. and. Then we uh, brake cleaned them and did this old trick. I'll show you the video of it. My uh, guy taught me how to kind of work on cars years ago. His name was Tim. And he showed me to burn the fuel off the spark plugs when they were fuel fouled. So we did that. Don't know if this trick actually works or not, but I was taught this by my mentor, Tim. Tim, wherever you are, thank you for everything you taught me. What we're trying to do is burn the carbon off the porcelain. Did I even show the carbon in the video? I don't think I did. Anyway, we pulled these plugs out there very carboned up and uh, we wire wheeled them. 
to try and get the carbon off the porcelain. And now we're going to stick them back in, hopefully it'll run. And still couldn't get it to start. So we went ahead and just ordered plugs. Uh, they were, the plugs were nasty anyway, so we put plugs in it and it still wouldn't start. So at this point we're thinking maybe it's too rich and just floods out and won't run. So the obvious test for that, since we know it's got fuel pressure and we know the computer's injecting fuel,